TikTok has been blowing up with millennial women speaking out about not wanting to have children and getting sterilized. But why is this child-free lifestyle such a controversial topic? Take a look. Childless by choice? TikTok is blowing up with millennials who are foregoing traditional birth control options and opting to get irreversible sterilization procedures. It's a big debate with some doctors saying it's a patient's right to make their own choice, while others argue it's a permanent procedure that shouldn't be offered, especially to younger women. Montana is one woman who ended her fertility and she's now advocating for others to have the same option. I chose to give up my fertility because that is what I wanted to do. Sterilization was a very empowering decision for me. The reason that us child-free people don't have children is because we don't want them. And we happen to be very sexually responsible. I've done many videos on how to get your tube side. Here are some tips. Insurances, most of them anyway, will cover you at 21 and up. So I get asked all the time, what if you change your mind on sterilization? I would love to foster. I would love to adopt. Motherhood doesn't have to be defined by physically birthing a baby. But the question remains, should doctors enforce an age requirement for women who want surgical sterilization? Joining us now via Zoom is Montana, an advocate for allowing sterilization for women. Welcome to the show, Montana. Thank you. All right, so you're an advocate, but maybe more importantly, you went through this process. So, so tell us, how old were you when you decided you wanted to be sterilized? Well, I knew from a young age that I didn't want to have children and I wanted to end my fertility by choice. And it wasn't until age 16 that I started researching the different sterilization methods, like the pros and cons, risk and benefits. And when I was 21, I actively started seeking out doctors and that was a very long process. I was denied multiple times and I didn't get approved until I was 24. I have to ask you, Montana, 16 is a, is a young age. What clicked in you at sudden, such an early age that you just decided that, that having a family, a child is not in my future? I just knew. I mean, having kids is a huge responsibility and not everyone wants to take on that responsibility. Having children, just like getting sterilized, is a life changing decision. And having kids should not be taken lightly, especially if you're the type of person who likes to do a lot of things. When you have kids, your entire life changes. Are you particularly career driven? Yes. I understand that. And, and that is absolutely you're right. What kind of reasons did they give you when you were turned down uh, seeking out sterilization? It consisted of, well, what if you change your mind? Which, which, is, it's, which is valid. There are some people that do regret it, but it was like they weren't even listening to my side of things. And then they were saying like, what if you meet a man? What if you, what if you fall in love with a guy and he, he wants to marry you and he wants to have children? And I'm thinking, well, having kids should be a discussion between two people, not just him. So those were the consistent reasons that I was given for denial. So how did you feel when you finally did find a doctor who was willing to do a sterilization procedure for you. I felt excited, relieved, and also emotional, but in a very, very positive way. I felt like I didn't have to fight anymore. Like my fight was finally coming to an end and I was finally being heard. And because of what I had to go through, I then started a social media and now I teach other people how to fight for their right, All right to be to sterilized. This day, I mean, you're not regretting your decision, correct? No. Not at all. I get stronger in that choice every single year, and I'm very happy with it. 